Good evening, welcome to the HCCC Haldeman Arena. I'm your host, John Molson. Tonight, the 28-3 first place Caledonia Pro Fit Corvairs host the 18-11-1 fourth place Listwell Cyclones. The Corvairs are looking for their second straight win following their 5-0 win over the Brampton Bombers at the Powerade Center last night. The Cyclones are going after their third straight win after last night's victory over Waterloo. Starting goaltenders for the Listowel Cyclones, number one, or number 31 rather, Drew Reinhardt. He's played 22 games. He has a one loss record of 11 and nine with one loss in overtime with a goals against average of 331 and a save percentage of .918. Starting goaltender for the Caledonia Pro Fit Corvairs, number 37, Justice Huzak, he's played 22 games. He has an 11 and 7 one loss record with an overtime loss and two shootout losses. Play now underway, Quilty in behind the net, passes off to the corner. Back to Blythe on the left point, but he misses the pass and here comes Robitaille on the near side. Huzak making a save in between the pads. 17 seconds into this first period. So the starting goalie for Caledonia, number 37, Justice Huzak, he has a goals against average of 265 and a save percentage of .918, good for ninth in the league. Play back in the Caledonia end now, stick the side by Huzak, picked up by Montour in the pass to Connor Murphy, who skates in over the Listwell blue line with a shot on net, Reinhardt making the save. Puck in the corner now, the centering pass. Henderson moves in off the point, throwing the puck back into the corner. Jeff Swift now with the puck, throws a cross ice pass. Another pass back across the ice to Swift, who receives the pass once again who hits the point and it's kicked away by Reinhardt into the near side. Picked up now by Mac Nickel who throws it around the net to sail. Listwell now heading out back towards center ice. Caledonia dumping the play back in, Listwell changing lines. A shot by Mitch Brown and hung on to by Drew Reinhardt just a minute and 18 seconds into this first period the Listwell Cyclones and the Caledonia Pro Fit Corvairs tied at no score. Christmas on the left point, passes back to Zemenko. 
Zemenko with a big night last night, having three points at the Powerade Center in Brampton. Just his second game with the club. So watch out for Zemenko. He's playing on a line with Mitch Brown. Four points in his first two games in that 5 nothing win last night over the Brampton Bombers. Pass on the far side now. Quilty picks it up, skates in over the list to a blue line. The pass is kicked away by Reinhardt. Listowel looking for the puck in front of the net, and it looks like a penalty call coming. Head referee Wardle signaling the call, as we'll have a face-off in the Listowel end. So Leonard Zemenko getting his first goal last night in the second period, playing on a line with Matt Quilty and Mitch Brown. Caledonia blanking Brampton last night. Mitchell Knight starting in goal for Caledonia last night, not dressed tonight, but Knight getting his first shutout on the year last night. Play in behind the net, Caledonia on their first power play. Back to the point, Montour off the left point. A hard slap shot, kicked aside by Reinhardt and up into the netting to the right of Reinhardt. So Caledonia, on their first power play of the night. They are at 17.96% on the year, 44 power play goals in 244 chances. The list will penalty kill at 81.29%. Listowel two points back of Cambridge coming into tonight. Cambridge and Elmira facing off at Galt Arena tonight. That game started at seven o'clock. Cambridge four points back of Caledonia coming into tonight with two games in hand. So Norrie dumps it in to the Listowel end. One minute left on that Caledonia power play as Caleb Cameron tries to clear the zone. He can't do so. Montour shoots off the point. Connor Murphy looking for a deflection. He now has it down in the corner, back to the right point. The shot kicked aside by Reinhardt as Listowel clears down the ice and changes lines with 35 seconds left in the first Listowel penalty. <laughs> Blunt now with the puck behind the net, gives to Henderson on the near side, who throws the puck across ice to Dalton Riley. A pad save on the far post by Drew Reinhard. Henderson goes back into his own end to touch up for Caledonia. <laughs> Referee signaling a high stick. So Dalton Riley will go to the box for two minutes. So in 15 seconds, Listowel will go to their first power play. Listowel winning last night against Waterloo in a shootout. Jacob Robitaille with two goals in that game. He had the only goal of the shootout. But of course, the goal in the shootout doesn't count as a game-winning goal. So, Robitaille credited with one goal last night, but also getting the winning goal in the shootout, a 3-2 victory over the Waterloo Siskins. Robitaille picks the puck up in his own end now, skates up press center and past the Caledonia blue line. A weak shot in on Justice Huzak, who makes a glove save. Listowel to their first power play for 128 for the high stick to Dalton Riley. So with two points here tonight, the Cyclones could tie the Cambridge Winterhawks pending that outcome at Galt Arena between Elmira and Cambridge. Oh. 
shot off the left point by Listwell. They can't keep the play on side. So we'll have a face off in the neutral zone. Mitch Brown against Caleb Cameron. Cameron wins the draw and the puck, the puck trickles back into the list will end. Cameron with the puck now shoots the puck in on the far side. Robitaille grabs it on the near side boards and throws it in behind the net to Patrick Bell. The puck getting out of the Caledonia end and back behind Drew Reinhardt. Connor Murphy tripped up behind the net as he tries to fall on the puck. Listwell digging the puck out, or that was Mitch Brown, excuse me. Caleb Cameron passing on the far side. Patrick Bell spinning around in the corner back to Mac Nickel on the point. The shot kicked aside by Huzak and back to Nickel on the right point. Cameron the shot, his shot is blocked by Jeff Swift. Cameron getting the puck back, back across to Nickel on the left side. The shot is held onto by Huzak with 14.25 left in this first period of play. No score between the Listowel Cyclones and the Caledonia Pro Fit Corvairs. Draw one by Listwell. They have the puck on the far side boards. Pawson throws it back in behind the net to the near side. Matthew Henderson picking it up there. A Listwell forward takes the puck away from Henderson, who tries for a scoring chance on the far post. Back to the point, the shot deflected at the side of the net. That was Connor Shaw, a newcomer for Listwell off the right point. His shot being deflected at the side of the net by a Listwell forward. Play tied up in the Listwell zone. Listwell coming away with it. A pass back to the defense as they wait in behind goaltender Reinhardt. Caledonia breaks up the play at the neutral zone, moving in on a two on two, and the shot is wide on the far side. Greg Christmas picking the puck up and throwing the puck to the far blue line. The pass intercepted by Listwell and thrown back up into neutral ice. Christmas, the pass ahead to Connor Murphy. He gets a quick snapshot away around the defenseman. Reinhard making the glove save. Play back in the neutral zone. Connor Murphy with the puck now once again. And Nori has to regroup, throwing the play back up to Mitch Brown, who is offside on the play. So Caledonia coming in with 43 points tonight in 31 games. Cambridge four points behind with two games in hand. Elmira sneaking into second place in the last week. So they're battling for second place up at Galt Arena tonight in Cambridge. That much anticipated battle between Cambridge and Caledonia last weekend. Cambridge coming out with a 4-1 victory. The only goal for Caledonia coming on a first period goal by Tyler Nori. Play on the far side, center to Zemenko. Blythe can't keep the puck on side and Bell breaks in down the near side looking for a shot on goal. Montour tried to take the puck away Puck down in the Caledonia end as Caleb Cameron, Cameron spinning in the slot, looking for a shot, excuse me. Cameron looking for the puck again, but intercepted by Caledonia as they head in on a two on one. Zemenko on the near side, his shot, and they score. But the wet referee waves off the goal Quilty getting a piece of the puck 
on the far side. I guess it went off a piece of his equipment, maybe a foot, because the referee waved that one off right away. The Listowel Cyclones and the Caledonia Corvairs still tied at zero. Play down the near side, a centering pass to Robitaille. He passes off and the shot kicked aside by Huzak. Ellis on that near side, a shot on Huzak. Play now back into the Listowel zone. Down in the far corner. A Caledonia forward tripped up. Kyle Ellis knocking his man over behind the net. That's number 27, Nate Mitten. So Nate Mitten hit from behind, behind the Listowel net. Caledonia will go to their second power play. Caledonia not scoring on their first power play this evening. So the two teams still tied at zero as we approach the midway point of this first period of play. Puck on the far side, Connor Murphy into the left to Montour. He fans on the shot, the shot going wide of the near side. Swift on the right side, passes off to Murphy. His shot just wide of the near side. Back to Swift, the slap shot off the point. Kicked aside by Reinhardt and up over the glass into the netting. Face off in the list will end. With 132 left and the penalty to Kyle Ellis. Connor Murphy back to Montour. He looks for Murphy. Murphy can't handle the pass in the front of the slot. And Reinhardt covers up with the glove at the side of the net. Connor Murphy looking for his first point in the last few games. He's stuck on 45 points. He was up to sixth or seventh in the league last week, but not getting a point in the last few games. He's down to 16th in the scoring race for the GOJHL. Huzak leaves the puck for Montour. Sam Harris for interference goes to the box. So Caledonia to a two-man advantage for the next 104. Quilty pass to the side of the net. The shot by Riley in the slot is wide of the far post. Quilty the shot off the left side, deflected by Connor Murphy wide to the far post. Murphy with the puck passes off to the far side into Quilty who passed over to Montour his shot wide of the net and all the way back down into the Caledonia zone. As Quilty picks up the puck at his own blue line and skates the puck all the way back into the Listowel zone. Montour passes off to Norrie's side of the net to Swift who's intercepted. The interception by Scott Pawson of Listowel, he throws the puck all the way back down into the Caledonia end with seven seconds left in that first penalty. So Listowel killing off their first penalty. 33 seconds left in that minor for interference as play goes back to the point. Blunt on the near side, moves down into the near corner as he can't find a pass. Pawson digging for the puck in the corner. Mac Nickel coming up with the puck, throwing it back to the right point, but can't get it past Henderson. Henderson's shot is wide and up over the glass. Touched by Nickel as we have a whistle here. Mac Nickel getting two assists in last night's game against Waterloo.
So we'll have a face off to the left glove side of Reinhardt. In the list will end Mitch Brown to take the draw against Patrick Bell. Brown goes back to the point now with the puck again on the far side. Bell knocks down Brown at the far side and skates the puck out to his blue line and up past the center ice red line, passing off to Sam Feegan. Kyle Ellis looking for the point, the puck at the point for Listwell now as he throws it back down into the Caledonia end. Ellis going back for Listwell. He circles his own net and stops and waits to develop the play. That second Listwell penalty now over. Listwell back to full strength as Colton Pickett goes into the Caledonia zone, but the play goes for icing with 7.28 left in this first period of play. The Listwell Cyclones and the Caledonia Profit Corvairs yet to score a goal. We're still scoreless at zero. We'll have a face off at center ice. Dalton Riley to take the draw against Brandon Priestap. As list a little late on the line change, the right winger, Sean Moore, coming out to take his spot. Play now back on the Caledonia blue line. Jonathan gives to Riley, who drops back to his defenseman. Play now dumped back into the Listwell zone. Christmas picks the puck up, throws it down the far side, intercepted by Listwell and neutral ice as Mighton throws it into the Caledonia end. Christmas picking the puck up for Caledonia. He throws it up the near side to Jonathan. Caledonia wearing their blue jerseys tonight. I guess switching at mid-season. Caledonia wearing the blue jerseys on the road this season. <coughs> so this is the first time we've seen that blue jersey here at home on home ice. Caledonia wearing the white jersey for the first half of the year. Also, this is the first time that I've seen the Listowel white jersey. So the teams switching up the uniforms as we hit mid-season. I don't know if this is just for tonight or if this is a mid-season swap. Connor Murphy with the puck on the far side now in the list will end. The shot kicked aside by Reinhardt. Swift looking for the rebound. Murphy coming away with it and skating out to the blue line and dumping the puck back deep into the Listwell end. Kicked aside by Reinhardt, picked up by Listwell. They rush out through the neutral zone on a three on two as Reed Simmons dumps the puck down into the Caledonia end. Montour picks up the puck behind his own net, throwing it up the far side to Tyler Norrie, who chips it back in to the neutral zone. Ellis with the puck, throws it up to Gilman, intercepted by Montour as he heads over the Listwell line. Bell grabbing the puck, throwing it up through neutral ice. Caledonia and Listwell both making line changes as the puck goes back down into the Listwell end. Ellis moved the puck from behind his own net up the far side to Sam Feegan, who dumps it in the, in the near side corner to Bell. Bell throwing it over to Tanner Mighton. Intercepted now by Zemenko on the near side, who's tied up by Feegan. Bell hits his man Brown on the far side. Grabbed by Connor Shaw and throwing back into the Caledonia end. Matthew Henderson skating the puck up through the neutral zone, dumps it in to the Listwell end and chases after his own shot 
as Zemenko tries to keep the play on side at the list will point. Brown with the puck in behind the net, chips to Zemenko. Zemenko, as I mentioned, very effective with Quilty and Brown last night, picking up three points. In just his second game, he already has four points. Zemenko getting his first goal last night in the second period in that 5 nothing win over Brampton. The centering pass by Zemenko intercepted by Bell as Bell heads back up ice. The play looked to be offside by Colton Pickett, but we carry on, play back into the list will end as they chip the puck up by their own bench. Listowel changing lines, Christmas grabbing the puck. The pass into the list will end. Kamenya looking for a shot. Taken now by Priestap. He dumps it in to the Caledonia end on the near side. Touched up by Greg Christmas. We have a whistle and it looks like another interference call. This one coming to Steve Kamenya. So Listowel goes to their second power play of the night. Face off in the Caledonia end to the left blocker side of Justice Huzak. Robitaille wins the draw back to the point to Nickel. His quick snapshot gets a piece of Huzak. Play now back into the list will end. As Caledonia kills off the first 15 seconds of the list will power play. Mitten now looking to intercept at the list will bench. He does so and throws it back in to the list will end. Picked up now by Mac Nickel. He skates it all the way in past the red line and the Caledonia blue line. Here's a play at the side of the net. Robitaille looking for a wraparound, but Abraham with possession now for Caledonia as Nori breaks out the other way on a possible two on one. The shot is wide on the far side as Mitten goes crashing into the near side post, the net going off its moorings as Caledonia rushes in shorthanded with 53 seconds left in the list will power play. Brown to take the draw. He loses the draw to Scott Pawson. The list will defenseman falling over. Brown now going after the puck once again on the far side boards. That fallen forward Tanner Mighton does eventually get up, grab the puck, and he skates down into the Caledonia end. Caledonia once again clearing the puck. Just 25 seconds left in that second Listowel power play. Puck on the far side, chipped in by Sam Feegan. Feegan goes after the puck, but intercepted by Jonathan, who throws it back into the Listowel end. Here's a centering pass. And Jonathan, with a great scoring chance, but the puck caught the back of his stick, not able to get full wood on that breakaway scoring chance on the pass from Jeff Swift. Mighton passes off to Sam Harris, who goes up the near side board to Brandon Priestap, side of the net looking for a shot. Huzak with a big save with just 25.3 seconds remaining in this first period of play. The draw tied up in the skates 
of Brian and Priestap. Play now back on the far side as Patrick Bell throws it back to his defenseman. Caledonia regaining possession in the neutral zone briefly. Jonathan can't hang on. Play now back on the Caledonia blue line. Christmas passing across to Abraham. The buzzer goes to end the first period of play. And at the end of the first period of play, there's no score. So the two teams go to the dressing room, still scoreless. The Listowel Cyclones, zero. And the Caledonia Profit Corvairs, zero. So Caledonia comes out of their dressing room to start the second period. Listwell already on the ice to start this second period of play. Neither team drawing first blood in the first period. The two teams scoreless at zero as we're about to begin the second period of play. On the out of town scoreboard, all games after one period of play, the Cambridge Winterhawks with a commanding 5-1 lead over the Elmira Sugar Kings. So Cambridge dumping in five goals in that first period of play, trying to reclaim their spot in second place in the GOJHL Midwestern Conference. Play now underway on the left side, throwing in to the Listwell zone. Picked up by Ellis, who circles around his own net looking for a play, throws the puck up on the far side to number two, Sam Harris. Scott Pawson throws back to his defense. The defense now going cross ice back to Pawson, but he can't handle the errant pass as it goes all the way back in around Huzak for an icing face off in the Listwell zone. Other scores on the out of town scoreboard, the Stratford Cullitons are in a 2-2 tie with the Brampton Bombers and Kitchener with an early 1-0 lead over the Guelph Hurricanes. Norrie chipping away for the puck in behind the net, hands off to Connor Murphy who gives it back to Blunt as defenseman, Blunt throwing it in to the Listwell zone and around the far side. Murphy misses the pass to Blunt at the point. Listwell intercepting, going the other way. Jacob Robitaille with a shot off the far side and that's gloved by Huzak to keep this game scoreless. So we'll have a face-off in the Caledonia zone to the left stick side of Justice Huzak. Listowel winning the draw, trying to center out front, but intercepted on the far side by Zemenko as he tries to break out into the Listowel end. Christmas with the puck now back in the Caledonia end. Listowel grabbing that puck. Play now back on their defense as Bell throws back to his defense. Listowel having trouble. Listowel having trouble getting possession of the puck. As is Caledonia, neither team 
drawing much scoring opportunities in this opening two minutes of the second period. Here's a chance for Moore. He breaks in on the near side, goes around Montour on the defense, and kicked away by Huzak as he puts the puck into the far corner. Caledonia now looking to break out through the neutral zone. Reinhardt gloves the puck down. The weak shot handled at the side of his net. So he'll hang on. There'll be a face-off in the Listool zone. To the left glove side of Reinhardt, Dalton Riley and Caleb Cameron on the draw. Cameron winning the draw and throwing it back in behind you. But behind to his defense on the far side. Cameron looking for a wraparound on the far side, but there's a whistle. Don't know what the call is here. Nate Mitten going to the box for two minutes. Listwell to their third power play. Nate Mitten for cross-checking. Two minutes and 39 seconds into this second period of play. Still no score between the Listowel Cyclones and the Caledonia Profit Corvairs. Or that was interference, excuse me. I called cross-checking. Cameron in behind the net, circles around on the far side, back to the point to Nickel, gives back to Cameron, who gives back to Nickel. The shot deflecting now to Cameron, giving back to Nickel the hard shot on the far side. So Nickel and Cameron making several passes back and forth, looking for a scoring chance, trying to get Listowel on the board. Listowel tonight trying to move up in the standings. They're two points behind second place, but Cambridge with that early 5-0 or 5-1 lead against Elmira at Galt Arena, looking to regain their spot in the top of the standings of the Midwestern Conference, getting out to a big early lead against Elmira this evening at Galt Arena. A Listowel defender tripped up on the far side. Back to the point. The shot is blocked. Back to Ellis now, back in the Listowel end. 103 left in the minor to Nate Mitten. The centering pass to Caleb Cameron. He can't handle it and goes into the near corner now after the puck. The puck trickling back into the list will end as Mac Nickel picks it up and waits behind his own net. Sam Harris with the puck by the Caledonia bench now. Passes off to Nickel. Patrick Bell has to turn around and regroup in his own end. Now skating up the far side as Jeff Swift tries an interception. He can't hang on to it either, and Listowel heads back the other way in the neutral zone. Harris now looking for a shot off the left point, deflected by Tanner Mighton up into the netting to the right blocker side of Justice Huzak. Face off in the Caledonia end, Scott Pawson to take the draw against Mitch Brown. Brown wins the draw, passes off to Abraham, who clears it up all the way around the near side by the Listwell bench. Harris giving the puck back to Mighton, who clears the puck back into the neutral zone. Abraham grabs it instead for Caledonia, throwing it back into the Listwell end. Harris grabs the puck, throws it up, the far side to Scott Pawson.
Listowel getting the play into the neutral zone, dumping it in behind the net of Huzak. Pawson looking for an offensive chance down in the Caledonia end as Pawson intercepted by Caledonia as they skate back up near the center ice red line. Abraham grabbing the puck in his own end, throws it back around the boards to Jeff Swift. Stewart intercepts by the Caledonia bench and throws it up to Moore who passes back to Mac Nickel who throws it down into the Caledonia end. Kamenya grabbing the puck at his own blue line. Loses the puck momentarily so he gives it off to Abraham. Play now back in behind Justice Huzak. Christmas picking it up and throwing the pass across the center ice red line. Tyler Norrie going all the way into the list will end to chase it down. He can't chip the puck off the far side boards, but gathers it in once again. Moves into the slot and a shot off the crossbar. Two chances at the side of the net by Dalton Riley and Tyler Norrie but neither one can shovel the pass in for the opening goal as we're 333 to the midway point of this contest between the fourth place Listowel Cyclones and the first place Caledonia Pro Fit Corvairs. Caledonia with a win tonight could move to 45 points. They could move six points ahead of second place. The other teams with games in hand, but that of course pending the result of that Elmira Cambridge game up at Galt Arena. Here's a penalty now to Listowel as Caledonia goes to their fourth power play. Jonathan looking for a shot, passes over far side and Blunt misses the pass, or misses the shot rather, on the far goal post. Caledonia looking to keep the play in the list to will end, but they're not able to do so. Blunt has to recover in his own end. The pass up the far side to Dalton Riley, who shoots it in off the list will end boards. 105 left in that list will minor penalty as Blunt unable to keep the puck in on the left side at the Listowel blue line. So Mac Nickel going to the box. Caledonia on their fourth power play of the night. Coming in at a little over 17% coming into tonight as Listowel rushes in off the far side. A shorthanded chance, but Caledonia comes back the other way. Connor Murphy turning around on the near side. Swift keeping it in on the point. Nori looking for a pass in the slot, but it's intercepted by Brandon Priestap and thrown back down into the Caledonia zone with under 30 seconds left in that minor penalty to Mac Nickel. Here comes Connor Murphy skating in over the list to a blue line and his shot wide of the near side. Montour with the big slap shot partially blocked, but I believe that's Nori. No, it's Connor Murphy. Moore got a bit of a block on the initial Montour shot, but Connor Murphy looked for a rebound in the slot. Just 10 seconds to go in the minor to nickel. Murphy to take the draw in the list who will end against Caleb Cameron. The shot off the left point, blocked by list who will throw him back down into the Caledonia zone. And that should do it for the fourth Caledonia power play of the night. List will going back to full strength. The shot in on the far side by Simon Blythe, picked up now by Carter Stewart, throwing back into the neutral zone. Ellis now recovering the puck behind his own net for Listowel. 
as Nori tries to take the play away. He ties up his man enough for Montour to get a shot off the point. Caleb Cameron now picking up the puck and throwing it out into the neutral zone. The play going for icing as Simon Blythe goes back to touch up the puck. So we'll have a face-off and the list will end to the right side of Drew Reinhardt. Mitch Brown to take the draw against Cameron. Brown wins it and throws it into the far corner to Zemanko. The shot on the near side. Brown looking for a rebound off that initial shot from Abraham. Brown with a check on Bell on the near side. He works his way in back door. Brown worked his way into the what looked to be an empty net but couldn't get a stick on it. Christmas goes to cut off Robitaille before Jacob Robitaille can move in on a shorthanded break. Listowel intercepting the pass. Cameron with a shot on the far side. Huzak kicks that away. Play now back down in behind the Caledonia net. Robitaille turning around in behind the net. Can't center a pass as Abraham ties up the list will forward in the corner. Brown coming up with possession for a minute and he chips it off the far side boards back into the neutral zone. Abraham picks the puck up, throws it to the far side up to the red line, but Connor Shaw throws it back down into the Caledonia end. Brown skates up over the center ice red line, up past the list to a blue line, a quick snapshot to the far side, but Reinhardt gets enough of it on the stick side to keep out the possible opening goal. We're still scoreless midway through this game with 9.01 left in the second period. Caledonia and Listowel still tied at zero. The shot up over the net past the glove of Reinhardt as Henderson chips it back down into the Listowel end. He threw a weak shot up over the list to a blue line. Reinhard just covers up a face off in the list will end. Kamenya and Sam Fegan to take the draw. Fegan ties the puck up in his skate, throws it back to Mighton, who throws it up the near side. Ellis breaking out at the neutral zone, Blunt chipping the puck back in for Caledonia. Blunt turns around on the near corner, throws it around the boards to Zemenko. Zemenko intercepted by Fegan briefly, but taken again once, a, a, once again by Scott Dorian. Henderson on the point, throws it back up around the boards. The centering pass goes off the back of the Listowel net. Blunt moves in off the right point kept on side by Henderson and thrown down into the corner. Back to Jonathan now on the point, across to the left, the shot wide of Reinhardt, centering pass back in the slot. As Henderson looks for a pass in the slot, doesn't get what he's looking for and Henderson heads off on the line change. Simon Blythe and Montour now out for Caledonia as Caledonia moves in offside. 7.32 left in the second period of play. Listowel winning the draw, but it deflects off some Caledonia forwards. Play now back at the Caledonia blue line.
play around the far side. Dalton Riley throws it in behind the net. Picked up by Ellis. Or that's Moore, rather. Confusing my six and my 16 as Caledonia heads back the other way. The pass into the slot intercepted by Ben Shelley as he throws the puck up the far side. Brandon Priestap looking for a rebound at the far side, but Justice Huzak covers up with the glove. A face-off in the Caledonia zone as both teams change lines. Connor Murphy to take the draw against Priestap. Murphy wins the draw, passing off to Simon Blythe, who throws it up around the near side by the Listowel bench. Connor Murphy now picking it up in his own end, passing back to a defenseman as Murphy breaks out in the neutral zone, looking for a two on one, but intercepted by Tanner Mighton as Gilman throws it back down in to the Caledonia end. Murphy picks the puck up in neutral ice, skates around Mighton and another defender, Sam Harris, getting a shot away to the near post, but it misses wide. Murphy with the puck again, side of the net, looking for his 18th goal of the year. Play on the far side, throwing in. Christmas threw it in behind the net on the left side. Abraham looking for it. Murphy now with the puck on the near side. Throws in behind the net and intercepted by Connor Shaw. A centering pass out in front of Reinhardt. Swift looking for a rebound, but taken away by Tanner Mighton as he skates up over the center ice red line and past the Caledonia blue line, going into the far side looking for a centering pass. Cameron turns around, the leading scorer for Listowel. Off to the point to Ellis. His shot is partially blocked and off into the far side. Connor Murphy trying to pick up the puck. He does so, passes it to a Caledonia forward as he throws the play into the neutral zone. Matt Quilty chasing the puck up in on the near side in the Listowel end. But Ellis grabs the puck now for Listowel, waits behind his own net, throws it to Nickel up by the benches. Henderson intercepting, and now Listowel moves in and they score. So Caleb Cameron scores on the far side on a quick wrist shot, the quick release. He didn't even hold it, he just shot off the pass. Listowel getting the first goal of this game with 4.31 left in the second period of play. The Listowel Cyclones now with a 1-0 lead over the Caledonia Corvairs. I didn't hear who got the assist on that goal, but it was a beautiful pass to the far side to Cameron, who made no mistake about it. He just slammed it home on the far side. Huzak with no chance on that play. Listowel with the first goal of this game. The Cyclones now in front of the Corvairs, one to nothing. Here's another chance as Listowel moves in through center on a three on two. Fegan was looking for a shot in the slot. Listowel now changing lines. Caledonia skating in over the neutral zone, dumping it in to the Listowel end with 3.15 left in this second period of play. Mac Nickel waiting in behind his own net.
Nickel with the puck again, throws it down into the Caledonia end. It just misses the near side post of Huzak. So the play goes for icing and we'll go for a face off back in the list who will end. So Caleb Cameron getting his 18th goal of the season, his 49th point of the year. So we'll see where that moves him in the scoring race. Play down into the Caledonia, or the list will end rather. Side of the net, Nori looking for a centering pass to Connor Murphy. Another centering pass by Murphy to Abraham is intercepted by Listwell at the Caledonia bench. So Caleb Cameron, 11th in league scoring with his 18th goal. That'll move him up to ninth in the scoring race, pending tonight's results. He's also now four points ahead of Connor Murphy. Caledonia still scoreless on the night. Listwell with a one nothing lead on the goal by Caleb Cameron. Time winding down in this second period of play as a shot by Cameron now looking for his second goal on the pass into the slot from Robitaille. Time winding down in this second period. Cameron with the only goal, the Listwell Cyclones with a one nothing lead over the Caledonia Corvairs as we approach the final minute of this second period of play. Blunt turns around in his own end, circles in around behind Huzak. He'll just sit and wait. Patrick Bell looking on in the slot, looking to intercept a possible pass. Blunt goes up the near side to Mitten, who gives off to Nori. Caledonia does indeed lose possession momentarily, but Dalton Riley grabs possession of the play throwing it back into the list will end. Shot side of the net. Reinhard covering up on the near side. A scrap between Patrick Bell and Dalton Riley in front of Reinhard. So Dalton Riley to go to the box. Let's see if Patrick Bell gets a minor as well. No, Riley's gonna get the only penalty on that scrum in front of Reinhard. As he knocked over Bell in front of the net and maybe got a punch in there. Face off in the Caledonians and Brown wins the draw, but it squirts out to Ellis on the list to a point. Listwell on their fourth power play. The shot on the right point by Nickel handled in the midsection of Justice Huzak. A face off in the Caledonia zone with just 11 seconds left in the second period. Cameron in on the draw against Brown. Brown wins the draw again, but the puck ties up on the far side as Caleb Cameron throws it back down deep into the Caledonia zone. Play back to the point. Nickel passed it over to Ellis, but Ellis couldn't get a shot off the left point before time expired. So at the end of two periods of play, after the Caleb Cameron goal on the bullet on the far side, past Huzak who had no chance on the play. That was with 4.13 remaining in the second period of play. 
So at the end of two periods of play, it's the Listowel Cyclones 1 and the Caledonia Profet Corvairs 0. So the two teams, the Listowel Cyclones and the Caledonia Corvairs, getting set to start this third period of play. Listowel with a 1-0 lead off that shot off the far side by Caleb Cameron with 4.31 left in the second. That's the only goal of this hockey game. Listowel with a 1-0 lead after, over Caledonia after two periods of play. So if Listowel can win here tonight, that would put them at 39 points on the year. They'd be in a tie for third. That, of course, pending the result of tonight's Cambridge Elmira game in Cambridge at Galt Arena. At the end of two periods of play in that game, it's 6-3 for the winner Hawks. Also on the out-of-town scoreboard, Brampton with a 3-2 lead over Stratford after two periods, and Kitchener and Guelph in a 2-2 tie. Cameron at the side of the net, looking for his second goal. A tie up at the far side. So play whistle down, it looks like a Face off in the Caledonia end. Cameron with that shot at the side of the net. He just missed his second goal as Caledonia clears down the ice. So a Cambridge win tonight would put them back into second place with 40 points. And if Listowel were to hang on, that would put them in a tie with, for third with Elmira with 39 points. Caledonia, of course, still with 43 points coming into this evening. If they can possibly come back and put in the tying goal in this third period, come away with two points here tonight, they'd extend their lead to six points in the GOJHL Midwestern Conference. A win here tonight would have them leave this evening with 45 points. They have one game left before the Christmas break, that being next Friday against the Kitchener Dutchman. Shot at the side of the net off the shoulder of Huzak. Blunt looks for the puck on the far side. Dalton Riley with the puck now as he skates the puck out of his own end. Passes the puck off to Mitten, who takes a shot on the far side boards by Tanner Mighton. Listowel moves the puck in. Fegan a shot off the far side. Gloved down by Huzak at the far side post. Pawson wins the draw back to the left point, and the defenseman throws it back down in around the boards in the Caledonia end. Caledonia coming up with possession, two on one. The pass from Nori into the slot to Connor Murphy. Murphy can't handle the pass, and play goes back down into the Caledonia end. Abraham looks for the pass. Chipped away by a list to a forward. Gilman. 
Jeff Swift takes a hit by Robitaille on the boards. Or by Priestap, excuse me, by the Listwell bench. Mac Nickel comes up with the puck up to Gilman on the near shy side. His weak shot away. And Huzak covers up. So if the results all stayed the same based on what we've seen here so far tonight, Caledonia would remain at 43 points with Cambridge moving back up into second with 40 points and both Listowel and Almira would be tied for third at 39 points. Listowel goes to their fifth power play as Jeff Swift goes to the box for cross-checking. Three minutes and 30 seconds into this third period of play. The Listowel Cyclones with a one nothing lead and it looks like Mitch Brown heading to the box. So it looks like Listowel will head to a two-man advantage for a minute and 41 seconds. Mitch Brown does indeed go to the box. Face off in the Caledonia zone Cameron wins the draw back to Nickel on the right point. Nickel looks for a shot, passing back and forth with Ellis. Nickel down into the corner to Cameron, back to Nickel. So Brown goes off for slashing at three minutes and 30 seconds. Circling the net is Listwell back to the point. Ellis and Nickel once again passing back and forth to Cameron at the side of the net. Huzak doesn't know where it is. He puts his glove up, but the puck is in between his legs. He somehow makes the save. Listowel with 109 left in the two-man advantage. Jacob Robitaille to take the draw against Justin Abraham in the Caledonia end. Or no, they're on the wings to the left of Huzak. Nori and Cameron in to take the draw. Play now on the left point. Nickel receives the pass. He passes down to Cameron on the near side. Back to Nickel. Back to Cameron. Cameron gives off into the slot to Robitaille. Robitaille turns around and circles the Caledonia net. The pass back to Pawson, who gives back to Robitaille. Into the slot to Nickel, and they score. Mac Nickel moves in off the right point, and a slap shot past Huzak, who had no chance on the nice pass from Jacob Robitaille off the far side. So Mac Nickel moves in off the far point. Listowel will remain on the power play for another 59 seconds. Listowel doubling their lead to two to nothing. Caledonia heading the other way on a two on two. The shot by Jonathan in between the pads of Reinhardt. So at 431 of this third period, Mac Nickel doubles the Listowel lead on the assist from Jacob Robitaille. Time of the goal, 431. As Listowel extends their lead to two to nothing. Patrick Bell in the corner, turns around, spinning and turning away from Montour. 
Harris calls for a pass, but he throws in to the side of the net instead. Harris can't handle the pass. Play back into the list will end as Gilman goes up the near side. Caledonia intercepts in the neutral zone. Bombery, the side of the net, the shot is wide. So Caledonia looking to cut this lead in half, trying to get back in this game, trying to cut the score to two to one as the net is off its moorings in behind Drew Reinhard. Six minutes and 40 seconds gone in this third period of play. Kamenya to take the draw as Reed Simmons is throwing out of the draw. Caledonia wins the draw. Henderson's shot is wide of the net on the far side as we have a whistle. So we'll have a face off in the neutral zone just past the Caledonia blue line. Caledonia winning the draw and Matthew Henderson skating up ice. The shot up over top the net. The puck now on the far side in the list will zone now. The shot by Blunt taken in the midsection by Reinhard. So Listowel with a win here tonight would move up into third place and hand Caledonia only their third home loss on the season. Jacob Robitaille throwing it up into the Caledonia end on the near side. Swift throws the pass out into the neutral zone to Connor Murphy who moves up on the far side Murphy checked by Ellis on the far corner. Play picked up now in the neutral zone by Robitaille as he tries to move around a defenseman, but he takes a hard hit from Tyler Norrie. Puck back in the Caledonia end. Pass to Cameron in behind the net as a List will forward, falls down in behind the net. They get the pass away to Cameron. Huzak making the save in the midsection. That was Scott Pawson falling down in the corner on the near side. List will makes a line change as a couple of their forwards winded. Pre-stop in to take the draw against Mitch Brown in the Caledonia end. Montour moves the play out to Zemenko on the near side. Pre-stop tripped up in the neutral zone as he gives a shot to the face of Simon Blythe as he skates by. Blythe with the puck once again. And it looks like Listowel will take a penalty on that shot to the face. Brandon Priestap giving the Caledonia player a face wash and he'll sit down for two minutes as a result. So pre-stop, going to the box for two minutes for that semi-punch to the face to Simon Blythe. Giving Blythe a little shot and he'll go to the box for two minutes. Caledonia to their sixth power play. They've yet to score yet this evening. Brandon, 
So pre-stab goes for checking to the head. I thought it was a punch to the head, but... So Shelly will serve the 10-minute misconduct on the shot to the head from pre-stop as play is now deep in the list will end. Tied up as six players all down in the list will far end looking for the puck as Caleb Cameron and another Caledonia forward exchange words. I believe that's Zemenko. As Zemenko skates to the bench, Caledonia making a line change, 117 left in the Caledonia power play as play goes back to the right point to Quilty. Quilty passes off to the far side to Connor Murphy, working in the slot to Swift. The turnaround shot kicked away by Reinhardt as Connor Murphy tied up on the far side. Riley with the shot from the point, or Nori, excuse me, as Reinhardt makes the save in the midsection. Several players tying up at the near side post. Fifty-six seconds left in the Caledonia power play. Connor Murphy to take the draw. Passes off to Nori who gives off to Montour. Montour moves in off the point and circling down in the corner. Nori looks for a pass back to Murphy to Nori. The shot partially blocked. Nori gets it back over to the far side to Quilty. Swift looking for the puck on the far side. Picked up by Colton Pickett. He can't get it over the blue line. Caledonia keeping the play onside. Quilty back to the point to Nori. The shot into the slot. Sam Feegan picking up the puck, throwing it back into the Caledonia end. Quilty picking it up in his own end and skating it all the way up over the center ice red line. Montour the shot in the slot. Minton goes down into the corner, but it's grabbed there by Kyle Ellis and throwing up the near side boards. Play in the neutral zone. Listwell looking to go in on a two on one. The shot by Gilman hit the side of the net. Play on the far side now. Moore spins around in the corner, gives to Gilman. Gilman turning around on the near side, back into the corner, back to the slot to Nickel. Caledonia looking to move the play up over the list to a blue line. A Caledonia player is tripped up. There's a whistle here and we'll see if there's a penalty on the call. Yes, it's Ben Shelley heading to the box. Two minutes for slashing. Seven seconds past the midway point of this third and final period of play. Caledonia so far being blanked on the night. Brown in to take the draw deep in the list will end. The shot off the point right into the midsection of Drew Reinhardt on the blast off the right side by Briar Jonathan. So Brown and Cameron to face off again. Draw one by Caledonia back to Henderson on the point into Jonathan in at the side of the net and it somehow stays out as it goes, as it just misses the far post. And squirts out the near side somehow. That puck taking a funny hop almost going into the net. Face off to the right of Reinhardt. Brown wins the draw, gives to Blunt. Mitten now with the puck on the left side. Brown skates around the net and throws it back to Montour on the point, who passes off 
to Blunt on the left side. Blunt goes into Montour, the centering pass. Nobody there. Blunt tries to keep it on side, gives it to Brown on the boards. He's checked by Kyle Ellis. Caledonia maintaining possession. Montour going in behind the net. Play to Brown on the far side to Blunt, and it grazed the outside of the far post on the slap shot by Blunt. Listwell now going in shorthanded. Pickett crashing into the end boards as Caledonia goes up the other way, but Blunt moves the puck in offside. 47 seconds left in the sixth Caledonia power play of the night. Murphy to take the draw in the neutral zone. He wins it, but the puck goes back to the Listwell defense. Caledonia has to recover in their own end. Shot in by Jeff Swift, picked up by Sam Harris as he's tied up in the near corner. Caledonia comes away with its side of the net. Nori looking for a chance, but Harris picks up the puck and clears it back down into the Caledonia end. 20 seconds to go. One last rush here for Caledonia possible as the play, the missed pass to Connor Murphy off the pass on the far side. Swift in behind the net. Passes off to Abraham. Listowel gaining possession, clearing it down the ice and that'll do it. But Caledonia rushes the play back down in for one last rush at the Listowel blue line and almost got a good scoring chance out of that. Listowel heading the other way. Looks like a slash to the hand of Jacob Robitaille as Justice Huzak covers up with 7.40 to go in the third period. Robitaille bending over as he goes back to his bench and to the dressing room for some medical attention looked like a slash to the hands as we have a face-off in the Caledonia end. So it looks like the referees missed a call there in the slash to the hands of Jacob Robitaille. Kamenya throwing out of the draw. Kept in at the left point by Listwell. Cameron looking to turn around and move into the slot, but play now deep in the Caledonia end on the near side. Kamenya and Scott Pawson tie up in the near zone or on the near side. The referees yell, that's enough. So we'll see a penalties result out of that. But it looks like We'll just have a face-off instead in the Caledonia zone. Cameron to take the draw against Kamenya to the left of Huzak. Here's a quick shot by Bell. Cameron picks up the puck at the side of the net. Listwell trying to keep the play on at the point, but Scott Dorian breaks out down the far side. Dorian turns around in the corner. He's hit there by Cameron. And Connor Shaw and two other Caledonia forwards tie up in the list will end as Bell takes a big hit by the Caledonia defenseman Montour as Bombery goes back up into the list will end. Kamenya and Bell now tie up at the Listowel bench. Bell not happy on the previous hit. So Kamenya and Bell will go to the box for two minutes. Patrick Bell not pleased on the Previous big hit by Montour in the middle of the defensive zone. So Kamenya and Bell will go to the box for two minutes. 6.40 remaining in the third period. 
the Listowel Cyclones with a 2-0 lead on the Caledonia Pro Fit Corvairs. Face off in the Listowel zone. To the right of blocker side of Drew Reinhardt as Jeff Swift waits to take a draw with Sean Moore. Ben Shelley will once again go serve a misconduct penalty by the looks of things. Shelley going to the box earlier to serve an earlier misconduct. So perhaps Listowel will get an extra penalty out of this. As the two linesmen, Wardle and Barkley, discuss matters by the Listowel bench. Swift wins the draw, gives to Nori, who turns around in the slot, the quick snapshot at the side of the net. Looking for a pass in the slot, Nori. Montour on the left. The shot by Quilty. Here's a rebound. Nori at the side of the net. So Bell indeed gets an extra minor in that dust up by the Listwell bench. So Caledonia to their seventh power play, still looking for their first goal tonight. I don't believe they've been shut out on the year. Montour with a quick shot from the near side. Quilty recovers in the neutral zone. I could be mistaken, but I don't believe that Caledonia has been shut out this year. I could find out. I do have that information available, although it would be hard to call the game and read at the same time. So a hard shot by Montour off the right point. A rebound comes out for a minute. Reinhard getting most of that shot, able to just keep it out and preserve his shutout with 5.15 left in the third period. Blunt with a shot down to the far side as Brown turns around in the corner. Abraham a cross ice pass to Brown, the hard shot partially blocked by Sean Moore. Moore looking to intercept the pass as Blunt keeps it onside at the left point. Moore now tying up Blunt on the boards. Mitten looking to keep the play in as he moves the play in deep to Mitch Brown behind the net. Side of the net in front. Zemenko looking for a shot in the slot. Here's another centering pass. Blunt can't keep it on side at the left, so he'll skate back in over the list to a blue line. The pass to Mitten in the slot. Reinhardt might have got a piece of that as Sam Harris picks it up on the near side, throwing the pass to Reed Simmons in the neutral zone, who chases the puck down into the Caledonia end. Zemenko skates in over center and over the Listwell blue line. He turns around in behind the Listwell net, giving the pass off to Connor Murphy, who goes back to the point to Montour, who can't keep the play on side. Christmas turning around by the Caledonia bench. Montour with the puck now skates up the far side and Nickel high sticks it down by his own blue line. Dorian turns around in the corner now on the far side, twists and turns into the slot to Zemenko, who throws the puck back in behind the net. Play back in behind the net. 
Connor Murphy looking for a scoring chance on the far side. Time starting to run out on the Caledonia Corvairs now. So a win here tonight by Listowel would bring their road record up to eight, five, and one. Caledonia would drop to 11, three, and one at home on the year. Caledonia would remain at 43 points. Listowel would move into a tie for third with 39 points. Play goes offside. We'll have a face off in the neutral zone. Swift to take the draw against Cameron. Cameron wins the draw. Play now back on the list will defense as Cameron grabs the puck, skating in behind his own net, looking to set up a play moving into the Caledonia end. Listowel trying to get that third goal. That had put a nail in the coffin pretty much for Caledonia's chances at this point in the evening. Just 2.16 left in this third period of play. Quilty intercepts the play, going the other way on a two on two with Swift. Nori jumping into the play. His wrist shot is wide of the post on the near side. Play down in the corner. Caledonia coming up with possession. Shot hits the end boards in behind Reinhard. Montour looking to move the play out from the far side. Back in behind the net, the centering pass to Swift. The puck ending up back in the neutral zone. Christmas having to recover for Caledonia. Net now empty for Caledonia as they put the sixth attacker on. 127 left in this third period of play. Play moving back to Christmas on the right point. Listowel intercepts, can't get it past the center ice red line as Caledonia throws the puck back deep into the Listowel end. No icing on the play. Blunt's got to go back quickly as he came on off the line change. Last minute of play now in this third period of play. Zemenko on the near side. Play stuck in the neutral zone as Caledonia is gonna have to play hurry up here. Shot down in to the list will end. Picked up by Montour on the point to Blunt. The big shot, the deflection on the side of the, in front of the net. Brown and Mitten looking for scoring chances in front of the net. Centering pass, nobody there. Blunt's got to go back into his own zone. Just 25 seconds to go. Puck in the neutral zone, and it looks like Listowel will skate away with their eighth road win here tonight. Listowel in no hurry as they make one final line change, chipping the play down into the neutral zone. Caleb Cameron picks up the puck in his own end. The buzzer ends the game as Listowel comes in to Caledonia, handing the Corvairs their first shutout loss on the year. The Listowel Cyclones coming away with a two to nothing victory. So your scoring summary for the game, there was no scoring in the first period of play. The Listowel Cyclones got the first goal of the game with 4.31 left in the second on the hard shot off the far side by Caleb Cameron. Listowel drawing first blood, one to nothing. Mitch Brown getting player of the game for Caledonia, but to no avail as they're what held off the score sheet tonight. The second list will go coming off the point shot. Mac Nickel moving in off the point 
off the assist on the far side by Jacob Robitaille at 431 of the third period. So your final score for tonight, it was the Listwell Cyclones 2 and the Caledonia Corvairs 0. For the Caledonia Corvairs, I'm John Molson. Join us for our final home game of 2012. The Corvairs take on the Kitchener Dutchman here at the HCCC this coming Friday at 7.20. Good night.